Hey guys, and welcome to my updated curly hair routine. Here I'm going to show you how I use my Miri Bell Naturals products to wash and style my hair. Here we go. All right, hi everybody. So I just washed my hair with the Miri Bell Naturals Creamy Hair Cleanser. I love using the Creamy Hair Cleanser for wash days along with the cleanser brush. The creamy hair cleanser is, well, creamy in consistency, and it contains ingredients like apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil, which help give my hair a nice gentle clean. I massage it onto my scalp and leave it there for about five minutes. I follow up with the dreamy hair cream. Now, the dreamy hair cream is moisturizing, and here you can see it coming out of the squeeze tube. It kind of has a whipped consistency and is pretty light, though I like to also dilute it down with water. It contains ingredients like shea butter and aloe vera and chia seed oil, so it really does a great job of keeping my hair moisturized, especially as the weather gets colder. So here I just mixed it between my, the palms of my hands and added a little bit of water and now I'm just raking it through my hair. And raking some more. <laughs> rake, 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 rake. And you can even see with the hair cream being added how my hair is clumping together so nicely versus how it was when I just had water on my hair. So here you can see the side with the hair cream versus the side without the hair cream. So. They look pretty different already. And now I'm going to take a little bit more hair cream. Again, dilute it down in the palm of my hand with some water and apply it to the other side by raking it in. As you can see, I'm also adding more water to my hair and to the product, just to make sure my hair is nice and evenly coated and hydrated and moisturized. So now that you've watched me rake a lot of hair cream into my hair, I'm going to move on to the Powerhouse Protein Cream. The Powerhouse Protein Cream is a pretty concentrated cream with protein ingredients in the first six ingredients and multiple protein sources. So for this product, my, my hair doesn't need a ton of protein. So for this product, I'm just going to use a tiny bit. I used about a dime sized amount mix it between the palm of my hands with some water, and I'm just scrunching it in. The protein is gonna help my curls bounce and it's gonna make them nice and springy and just gonna make them tight little curls, which is what I like for my hair. Nice little close up. You can see I'm using a good, between the hair cream and the protein cream, you can see I'm using a good amount and getting my hair nice and squishy. I'm also pulling apart big clumps because I want my hair to have a good amount of volume. So frizz does not scare me. I am okay with small curl clumps. So I am just pulling apart my hair at this stage now. Having smaller curl clumps will also help my hair dry faster. Okay, so after using the Powerhouse Protein Cream, I'm moving on to the Silky Smooth Flaxy Gel. Yes, this is probably our most popular product, and it is truly a flaxseed gel. Um, flaxseed gel is the second ingredient after water, and as you can see, it's goopy <laughs> and silky smooth. So here I'm going in and I'm doing prayer hands, to my hair in 
in two sections. I'm doing the crown layer and then I'm doing the layer underneath because I just want to make sure my hair gets well coated. So while I'm doing praying hands, I'm not putting too much pressure on my hair. This is just a gentle light coat of the product over my curls. I'm taking a little bit more for the other side of my hair. Not a ton of product overall, but my hair is on the dry side and it does love to absorb the product. So I am using probably all together like a nickel size amount of flaxseed gel. Taking what flaxseed gel I have left and rubbing it between the palms of my hands and scrunching up. I just want to make sure all my hair is coated and that my curls are springy and bouncy and tight. Okay, now that I have all the product in my hair, I let it sit for a couple of minutes so my hair can absorb as much product as it can. Then I take either the microfiber towel or a t-shirt and I scrunch out all the excess water and product that's just kind of sitting and coating my hair. Whatever my hair hasn't already absorbed, it's not going to absorb. Okay, towel adjusted. Once I scrunch out all of the excess product with my microfiber towel, I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair. Diffusing my hair gives me more volume and dries my curls faster. Here, I'm turning it on. You can see I have the power on high and the heat on low. And I am needing to press the cold air button, <laughs> which I realize I'm not pressing a little bit after I start to blow dry my hair. <laughs> um... I alternate between low heat and cold air. I find that using heat on my hair can damage it pretty easily. Um, my, just because my hair is dry, the weather outside is dry, making my hair even drier. And it's just in a fragile state right now with the cold air. So trying to keep it on cold as much as possible. And see, I found the button. <laughs> Finally found the cold air button. So here I am doing pixie diffusing, which is to just scoop my hair up with the diffuser. And this is called hover diffusing, where you don't actually touch your hair with the diffuser. I try to hover diffuse for a little to try to get my roots. And then pixie diffuse in order to promote volume. Like I said, volume means everything to me and I just want big hair. So... I'm scooping up and I will hold there for a few seconds and then I'll move on to the next section. I diffuse like this for, I don't know, honestly as long as I feel like it. And then I'll let my hair air dry the rest of the way and I'll be back with the finished results. And here are the final results after fluffing and putting the finishing touches on my hair. Thank you all so much for watching my curly hair routine updated with the Miri Bell Naturals products. I hope you found it useful. Comment below if you like seeing this routine or if you have any videos ideas and don't forget to subscribe.